Welcome everyone. Uh, today we are going to uh, show you how to create a connection to HANA and save it to the repository on Business Objects Intelligence platform, BI platform or your BI Launchpad. And then we're going to use the Crystal Reports for Enterprise Designer to connect to that particular schema in HANA and then publish that report to Business Service Enterprise platform, go through the BI Launchpad, log in, and run that report and export it, okay? So let's get started. So to do this, first we have this uh, SAP HANA modeler. In this, you can see that there is in the content, we have this particular schema and then this particular calculation view which we are going to connect. So to get started, first thing we need is connection to SAP HANA and then save that to the Business Services Enterprise Repository. Let's see how to do it through information design tool. So this is my information design tool. Uh, if you do not have it installed on your uh, machine, so this is a uh, client tool, you need to uh, install the client tools for whatever version uh, your Business Services Enterprise uh, server is on and then get this information design tool opened up. To do that, let's actually uh, go from the start I can create a project and do this locally and whatnot, or I can directly go into my repository and uh, create a connection. Now to connect to the repository, uh, so if you see this here, if you do not have that session on, uh, this is the insert session you will use. Uh, so the system name uh, I have here is the BF4. So if you do not have the system name, the easiest way to get that is through your CMC URL. Uh, you will be able to see it in your CMC URL. That's your system name here. Uh, that's the one you will use. And then uh, you will log in using the credentials which should have the permission to actually create a connection, okay? So uh, then under common connections, I'm going to create a directory here. So I'll insert a folder for my connection. I will say born, uh, born v2, uh, since I already have a uh, born folder there. So this is the uh, directory I've created. Now I want to create a connection here. Uh, so I'll go into insert OLAP connection. And then let's say born to HANA connection, right? You can give a brief description on which particular uh, HANA content we are trying to access if you want. And then just click on next. This is important. So you will go into SAP HANA client and on the back screen, if you have noticed, uh, so we just give the resource name. Uh, this gives us the screen. This is the OLAP connection which we are trying to create. We create on SAP HANA client. Then we'll click next. Uh, the host name here is uh, Visu HANA. That's the instance number I got from HANA is uh, 12. Username HANA user. I'll give the password for that. Uh, rest of the things you can leave it to the default you specified username and password uh, click on next and this is the metadata we have and in that uh, this is the schema which we are going to connect if you see the HANA modeler uh, this is the particular schema we have and then this is the calculation view which we are trying to create right so click on finish so got our connection now uh, let me close all the crystal reports for enterprise and open a new designer just so that uh, we're creating from the scratch. Close, no, and then, no, for this as well, right? And then I'm going to go here, Chris Lipos for Enterprise. So Crystal Reports for Enterprise is really powerful tool if you're directly uh, connecting to HANA and you're uh, creating a scalable uh, reports with large volume. It's really good to have the scheduled pixel perfect format of reports, right? So I'm going to go to Browse Repository and this is the server which I want to connect, right? So in the Manage Server, so if this is your first time opening Crystal Reports for Enterprise, uh, you need to uh, go into and create a uh, server connection you can either do it from here in the file uh, log on to server and then create a new one if you do not have anything so you're going to manage server 
so SAP Business Service BI platform. This is the connection display name. Again, the web services server name, you can get it from your CMC URL. That's uh, the server name. The, if you have uh, HTTPS, you will use this SSL uh, checkbox. Uh, you got your port number, you can leave this to default DS, WS, Bob JE directory which is used by Business Service Enterprise for those uh, DLLs and JAR files and whatnot. You got your username, uh, you can do the test connection from here. Okay. So once you have this uh, connection established, you hit OK. And then, so this is the select BI server which I've given, I'll hit OK. It's prompting me to enter the password for the user. Right, and then we got this result objects in the choose data source. So once we come here on the browse repository, now that I'm already connected to the server for the BI platform, it should directly take me to the data source type. You might see that by universes might be the, the default one you have to go into HANA view to connect to a HANA connection and this is your OLAP connection which we have just built right uh, click on next it's taking some time HANA is supposed to be really fast but uh, I think it's just my machine um, so once you are here you will select the schema which you are interested in this is the schema we have our view in uh, selected the view click on next it will come up with the uh, query edit query right so I'm choosing say customer ID product ID and the price so that's the one which I want to create a simple cross tab report and then publish it to business of same price right so finish it and then let's just say I'm gonna create a cross tab report uh, column I'm going to use the prod ID row as customer ID and then this is the sum for the price insert it into report header there you go so I have this cross tab report uh, completed and then I can save it locally or I can save it on the server um, so logged on to HANA and in under my folders, uh, I can even go there or in public folders. So inside the public folder, if I want to uh, first go into CMC, I'll create a new folder uh, just for the explanation purpose so that it's clear on what we are doing here. So under folders, I'll create, uh, we created this uh, folder here. Uh, that was a bond reports, uh, which is up here. Uh, so currently there is nothing in there. So what we're gonna do is we are going to save this report under that folder, right? So I can since I'm already here or actually let me just do a file save as and then I'm gonna see the folder which I've created there I hope it's up there if I can refresh it I don't see that folder there uh, it may not be able to refresh it so what I'm gonna quickly do is uh, save it to a different directory for now which is 001 uh, bond uh, and I don't want to do that because I want to discard the data and then save it right so I'll do a save as so I'm gonna name this report bond report v1 into the 001 bond for now uh, since uh, discard this data and the report should be published up there the reason you're not able to see that folder is uh, probably just need to log off and log in uh, that should actually refresh the folder structure so now if I go and find log on to server I'll just log on Okay, and then um, the same report if I want to open it and then save it into a separate directory, I should be able to do that. Uh, so I can open from BI dev, right? So this is a report I have, uh, which is uh, if I go to this bond directory, this is the 
report up there but we are going to publish it up here uh, and I should be able to see that new folder there now since uh, we have logged off and logged in and there you go so born report the other folder you're publishing it to and so just uh, going to name it so that it uh, becomes very uh, visible that it's a different report now so if I refresh this so there is no more uh, setting up the password and whatnot in Chris reports now because your connection is directly against HANA which is controlled by your uh, in the CMC you already have the passwords and whatnot uh, connected to that so I'll directly go to the BI launchpad okay jump to that particular folder which I have So that's my favorites that's gonna be public folder uh, bond reports and double click this report so this should refresh the uh, data automatically coming from that table so there you go and you can export this report to any format you want to see so that's it so we have seen a table inside HANA created a connection in uh, information design tool uh, published it to your repository in your business enterprise uh, business intelligence platform uh, repository under uh, the folder which we created in common connections which is this one right so first we have seen uh, the data modeler this is the calculation view uh, we have uh, so we came to information design tool uh, created the uh, folder for the, our new connection okay we created this connection in uh, a repository and then came to crystal reports access that connection created the report and published it back to the folder on your business and uh, intelligence platform right and then viewed that through your uh, bi launchpad uh, url and then we ran it exported it to the pdf and we have our cross tab uh, report in the pdf so I hope uh, this is very clear now on how to create this connection. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'll be back with uh, more.